Brisket smoked on the old country uh, Pecos. I like to keep these uh, aluminum four pans handy because you can see we're good. And uh, about for one minutes, it's not gonna hurt them at all. And uh, remember, chicken I've already hit an internal tank level. Hey, welcome back everybody. Merry Christmas to you all. Today is uh, Christmas Eve to, and uh, I'm getting ready to uh, prepare a 10 pound turkey for Christmas day tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna smoke it on my pellet smoker and this time around I'm gonna spatchcock it. Uh, reason, there's two reasons I like to spatchcock a, a turkey is because it'll really reduce on the cook time and the second reason is that it'll cook a lot more even than the traditional way of smoking a turkey. Uh, I've, I've tried this, not, not with a turkey, this will actually be my first turkey that I spatchcock, but I've done uh, plenty of whole chickens uh, uh, that way, and uh, I've gotten great results. So this is not a big bird, it's only 10 pounds, like I said, and uh, I'm going to get it out of this cryovac. Uh, I'm going to give it a quick bath, and, uh, and then I'm going to spatchcock it for you. Uh, after that, I'm going to inject it with my favorite butter Creole marinade that I like to, to use, the Tony uh, Cacherase. And I'll show you that as well so you know what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so I'm back. I uh, I took the turkey out of the cryovac and uh, gave it a quick bath and patted it dry as much as I could. Uh, I could still do a lot better, but anyway. So this, this is the breast, all right? So you're going to flip it over, all right? Flip it over, and oh, little tip, guys. I like to just uh, place a large sheet of uh, aluminum foil just to try to keep clean up to a minimum, and uh, you don't want to get poultry juice all over all over your kitchen. Um, I always use Clorox to wipe it down anyway, just as a precaution. But you know, if you can minimize it and you know mitigate the damage, why not, right? So let's get to uh, let, let's get started on this. So. I'll just snip whatever looks ugly to me. And then you're gonna look for the spine. All right, it's right here. I'm gonna continue doing this guys off camera and uh, and I'll be right back, okay? All right guys, so um, I removed the backbone from the turkey, you can see right here, and uh, oh, check this out. I broke my uh, kitchen shears. <laughs> Sharper image, not recommended. They're kind of new too. So, I used, uh, lucky for me, I have a very, very sharp knife, pretty hefty, so this helped me finish the job. Uh, now, I'm just gonna get a little spice right there. And flip. Let's see. Let's see, I can see this little key thing right here. Yeah, just be careful. Okay, flip it around. trying to do it I'm trying to keep one hand clean but it's not gonna it's not gonna happen so I'm gonna have to get in there there you go just press it down there you go and anyway let me uh, finish this off and, uh, and I'll show you how I'm going to marinate this bird so we'll be back all right guys so here is the uh, the uh, injection that I like to use that I was talking about, the Tony Cacherase injectable Creole style butter. And uh, after I, I'm done injecting it, I'm going to season the bird from the outside with uh, this season at all that I like to use a lot. So uh, you can go pretty generous with this with this stuff, guys, but uh, not too generous. It is a little salty. So all right, guys. So we're ready to inject and this is a very straightforward process not hard at all 
not difficult at all, I'm sorry. Just uh, insert, keep your needle moving. Alright guys, and just just like that. So now I'm going to apply some uh, some seasoning. guys so I place it back in the aluminum foil that I like to use and uh, at this point I'm just gonna wrap it up and uh, pop it back in the fridge let it marinate overnight and then uh, at, some, uh, at some point tomorrow morning I'll pop it in the in my pellet smoker and uh, I'll bring you guys along so you see uh, how it turns out okay so we'll see you tomorrow all right guys good morning uh, I have my uh, pit boss pellet smoker set at 225 and I'm gonna cook this bird at 225 for about 45 minutes to an hour because I wanted to I want to infuse as much smoke flavor as I can um, here it is I place it on a baking pan a little rack on my little thermal pen monitor right there and uh, oh I forgot to get the probe to monitor the internal temp of the bird but I'll get that in a few minutes um, but anyway guys for today's cook I'm using uh, mesquite pellet uh, wood pellets and uh, you know, I'm thinking this bird will go for about two and a half to three hours we'll see pretty cold out here today so what we got all right guys so it's been 45 minutes and I've had the turkey inside the pellet grill uh, at 225 degrees so that it could take up some smoke flavor and uh, take a peek. Smoking very nicely. So at this point I'm going to crank up the smoker to 250 degrees and, uh, and I'll check on it in about another hour or so. Alright guys, two hours into the cook and uh, let's check this bird out. Oh yeah, it's coming along very, very nicely. Let's spritz it with some uh, some butter. All right, why am I spraying this butter, guys? Because it's going to moist and it will help it's going to help to uh, round up that skin make it nice and crispy so I'll check on this uh, bad boy in about another 45 minutes alright guys three and a half hours into the cook and get that burn. very good and uh, about 20 minutes ago guys I did come out here and I cranked up the heat to uh, to 300 degrees my uh, pit boss does not have a 275 setting, so 300 degrees will do just fine. As you can see, come on, very nicely, guys. Beautiful color. Beautiful color, and uh, it's at 163 degrees internal. So I'm gonna take it up to about 170 degrees. Way back. Alright guys, it's been four hours since I uh, placed my turkey on my pellet smoker and look at that guys, look at that, let's check it out. Safe temperature for uh, 
turkey guys is 165 on the breast and I like to take it between 172 and 180 I've done that before and uh, not there, nothing's gonna happen to it guys you're not gonna dry it out said that when you spatchcock a turkey it really it drastically reduces the cook time on the turkey and uh, the other day I smoked a couple of 10 pounders just like this one it, it took me about seven seven and a half hours to smoke them and uh, this one took four hours four hours and two minutes now keep in mind that I have to open the, the grill to you know take pictures videotape and whatnot but you can you can do if you're not uh, opening that lid you can you can get it done in about three and a half hours, maybe a little bit less. Uh, but never just go by field, guys, with poultry anyway. And I like to go uh, with these uh, thermometers to make sure that we have the safe internal temp for uh, consumption. So let me take this bad boy inside. I'm gonna let it rest for about, you know, 20, 25 minutes, and then I'm gonna carve it up and show you guys what we got. Alright guys, so here we have it, the finished product. Look at that, can't clean off. Excuse me Mr. Camera Guy. Very easy. You can smell that mesquite immediately. That guys. <clears throat> Very good smoky flavor. Very juicy. Let me get my camera guy a piece. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Look at all that juice. That's that, that butter uh, marinade. It's in there. Very juicy. Very, very juicy bird, guys. Guys, um, again, this was a 10-pound turkey, turkey that we smoked on the pellet smoker, and uh, I spatchcocked the turkey for you all to show you that the cook time will uh, be reduced drastically. This one cooked in four hours flat, and uh, traditionally, if, if you cook it the traditional way, out in the smoker, you'll take anywhere from seven to seven and a half hours on a 10-pound bird. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and uh, please subscribe.